the JAMA Network. Some carbohydrate-containing foods, like bananas, increase the blood sugar more than other carb foods, like an apple. Putting the banana higher on the glycemic index. We made different versions of healthful diets based on how much certain foods increased the blood sugar. And Dr. Frank Sachs from the Harvard School of Public Health and co-authors studied 163 overweight adults that had slightly elevated blood pressure. Patients were assigned to eat one of four different diets for five weeks each. All patients completed at least two different diets. I remember putting the honey on the... And the guy's cheese. cheese. <laughs> Sandra Weeks participated in the study and worked with dietitian Karen Yee, who showed her how the different meals included carbohydrate-containing foods that were either higher or lower on the glycemic index. Choosing foods specifically on how much they raise blood sugar doesn't have an impact one way or the other on blood pressure, cholesterol, insulin resistance, risk factors for cardiovascular disease and diabetes. The study appears in JAMA, Journal of the American Medical Association. We thought that the low glycemic index foods are really the ones that would be most beneficial. Turns out, this meal of chicken and sauce over pasta cooked a little less, which makes it a lower glycemic food, had the same effect as this chicken and sauce meal cooked with instant white rice, which is a higher glycemic food. We can make have really healthful diets that are composed of foods, some of which raise blood sugar more than others, but as long as they're healthful, like fruits or cereal grains. So essentially, it gives people a lot more options. While Sandra says she learned a lot from the study, her best advice about eating a healthful diet? Planning, planning, planning um, ahead. That's always the key. Catherine Dolph, The JAMA Report.